This is Jimmy Wang reporting from Dongguan. These workers are impatiently waiting to receive back pay owed them by the management of the Weishu Shoe Factory. They're understandably anxious as the top manager of the company left the country without paying them their wages, leading to the factory's shutdown. The workers were so angry that hundreds of them held a public protest in front of a local government building. The day of the demonstration, the police came out and told us, you must leave immediately, hurry up. A cop hit me with an iron stick, even though I was unarmed. To date, I still haven't received two months of pay. When exports are high, things are good. But they've been down and financing has been hard to come by. So the boss only cared about himself and didn't pay us. Unlike others, I was lucky to get paid for September and October. The shoes we made were exported to America and Japan. The government should give us a plan, talk to us, but nobody said anything. We had to protest at the steps of the government office to get them to agree to pay us the money owed us under the new labor law. We've had to fight every step of the way and organize the solution ourselves. Situations like this are not uncommon in China, which has seen over 65,000 factory shutdowns this year. In the wake of the global credit crisis, waning consumer demand for Chinese goods abroad has led to a flood of newly unemployed Chinese looking for work. There are fewer businesses and exports now, so factories need less labor. The global economy is bad and it's had an effect everywhere. I've seen many factories close here. I came here with two other friends from my hometown, but right now finding work is harder than before. The government's recent passage of a $586 billion economic stimulus package is intended to absorb millions of unemployed Chinese through infrastructure projects and is the leadership's response to drops in exports that are seen as the prelude to a slowing economy.